It was another violent weekend in Harrisburg as we are following multiple shootings. Thanks for being here on a Monday. I'm Jasmine Brooks. A man was found dead right outside the Capitol last night, the 200 block of State Street to be exact. CBS 41's TJ Anthony live around that area where the body was found with what we know so far. TJ. Jasmine, so we know a few things so far. We know the person who died is 52 year old Paul Katoff of Harrisburg. We also know that when police came, the man that fired the shots, he actually stayed on the scene. So police quickly detained him and police. They arrived to this area right outside the Capitol around 530 last night after shots were fired. Now, police are saying that they do believe this was an isolated incident. They are exploring whether or not this could be a case of self-defense. We do have the individuals or the parties involved, and we're still just trying to identify and determine what actually transpired. Joanna McClinton, Speaker of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives, released a statement following the shooting. She said, I don't believe any of our members or staff were involved in the incident at this time. Please continue to be aware of your surroundings when coming and going from the Capitol. Now the autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow morning. Coming up at six, hear what the Dolphin County District Attorney Fran Chardo told us about the shooting. For now, live in Harrisburg, TJ Anthony, CBS 21 News. Jasmine. TJ, thank you. And the Dolphin County District Attorney is sharing more information about Friday night's shooting involving a Harrisburg police officer. Officials say a man was pulled over for an active felony warrant, but the interaction ended in gunfire. Police are still working to determine who fired first. The subject was shot, but is recovering in the hospital. Officials are not releasing his name at this time. In an attempt to reduce the violence, Harrisburg City officials say a gun buyback program was a huge success. 101 guns were collected in exchange for a $100 gift card each time. The fraternity hosting the event says that they even ran out of gift cards because of the influx of people. It's safer because it takes them off the street and out of their house and you know not subject to burglary, thefts, and, and so on and so forth. So police were able to secure 77 handguns and 24 long guns. The city says after this Saturday's success, they're hoping to have another gun buyback event in the future.